Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. John Hartley here, and uh, today we'll be looking at some basic text effects in After Effects. And this came from a comment on another kinetic typography tutorial from Umilanta. And uh, really, kind of just wanted to know, you know, what what are some basic effects that I use to spruce up text so it's not just plain white text on black background. So we'll go over some uh, things that I do to you know spruce up the text so to start i'll just show you uh, my my layout for the window my workspace i have on standard i have character which is over here effects and presets right here with tracker we won't worry about tracker for now and that's kind of all you need uh, paragraph is important as well and that is down here so to get started i put in some text using the text tool and you can use a horizontal type tool or the vertical type tool. Some people don't know that there's a vertical type tool. And I'll uh, just show that to you right now. John. And so there you go. That's so you don't have to you know, make a separate layer for every single letter that, that you want to put uh, for a vertical word. So we'll get rid of that and pop back over to this one. Now here in the character panel, this is where you're going to choose your text, uh, your, your font your font size, your stroke, you know, pretty much anything that isn't in the effects and presets is gonna be over here for your character. And you can actually change color too. So right here, the fill color, uh, let's make that a dark red. And then stroke is gonna be this outside color. And there we go. So right there, you know, it's already it's already different. It's already a little bit better than just having a plain white text on a plain black background. So now you can change the font size. Changing the font size is going to uh, maintain that vector shape that After Effects gives you. And that's instead of, you know, just clicking and dragging right there. You'll have more control over your, your text if you use the font size. You can also change the line height in case uh, you know you have two lines of text had a question and so now we just select this layer and we can change the line height to however close or far away from that first line as we want we can also change the letter spacing and that's how far away each letter is from the other letters and down here the baseline shift. This is for if you have, you know, H2O and you want this two to be a little higher up. You can do that, you know, drop the text down, uh, change how far away it is, the letter spacing. And you'd actually have to change it for the H. So there we go. That's uh, what the baseline shift does. So I'll go ahead and delete that layer. Another thing that's pretty cool about After Effects is that it is very similar to Photoshop in that you still have layer styles. So you can add all of these, which you can add in uh, Photoshop. So Bevel and Emboss, you know, let's play with this one a bit. As soon as you add it, it drops down into your layer styles. So you can twirl that down and you can start messing with it. So you have Inner Bevel and all of these different options. I'll keep Inner Bevel. I'll switch to Chisel Hard. Um, depth is fine, size, let's make it, make it a little bigger, make it very punched out, and soften it just a hair, maybe a little more, there we go, and then you can change, you know, highlight color, shadow color, we'll leave those as they are for now. So that is the bevel and emboss. And there are a lot of other styles you can play with, stroke, gradient, overlay, color, overlay. These aren't really necessary uh, because you can change you know, color over here. But if you wanted to take what you had and just completely put one color over it, you know, then, then you could do that. Um, I don't really see what the need would be, but you, know, you never know what your project might ask for. So I'll go ahead and get off of the layer styles now and move over to effects and presets. And for this, let's go ahead and look at Gaussian Blur. And Gaussian Blur 
it gives you a very nice blur and it, it's horizontal and vertical you can choose just horizontal and you can also choose just vertical and so I think I use this in the kinetic typography tutorial the the first one I did and as the text was dropping in you know it had this vertical Gaussian blur on it and then when it stopped in the middle uh, I, I turned it all the way off so I'll actually go ahead and, and show that real quick uh, let's make a few keyframes here I'll click on my layer hit U. that brings up that keyframe that I just created for the blurriness and I'll hold shift and hit P that brings up position and make a keyframe for that as well bump it back here and position will be up there change the blurriness to zero zoom in and and because it's so slow you can't really see um, what we did with that but if we increase the blurriness by a lot here now we can see that yes that that is a lot blurrier and again that's vertical so that was the gaussian blur uh, another thing that i like to do sometimes is add a let's go ahead and bring these styles back up layer styles bevel and emboss we'll just take that off for now is add a gradient and we'll actually go back into layer styles to do this uh, gradient overlay and what you can do with this is it it applies only to the text and so that's that's what is nice to me you can edit the gradient and let's change this to dark red change this one to dark black dark black I don't think that's that doesn't sound right you can't, you can't get much darker than black all right so that is the gradient overlay and you can see that that has uh, you know kind of, kind of a, a cooler look if you would want to you know keep that stroke uh, this would be a case where you know you can go back into layer and layer styles go to stroke but at the same time you're not going to get that gradient on the stroke uh, so what we can do instead is we'll turn both of these off we'll go to ramp and change the start of the ramp change the end of the ramp it's right here We can blend it with the original to give it um, more of that look we were trying to get. And we'll darken that. So there you can kind of see, you know, how, how ramp is used. Ramp is usually more for uh, solid layers or one full colored layer. And that's how you usually use it. But I think in that first tutorial I did, I, I'd use ramp on the text. And so you can see how, you know, those two are different but very very similar at the same time in fact i think they're almost exactly the same well you have a few more options with the layer style of gradient overlay so you can use that so that's a quick look at you know how to spice up your text and give it a little more design than just that flat white uh i don't really have anything else i i think well let's uh let's take a look at glow Glow is another one that I use a lot. And so right here you have all of these different, all these different things that uh, you can change. You can change the glow radius. A smaller glow radius is going to keep it closer to the text. Larger glow radius is going to, you know, really bump it out. So we'll keep this down around 13. Glow intensity, how bright your glow is. You can also change, you know, colors and glow dimensions. And we'll go to vertical. See how that looks. And there you go. So. Got a little Tron effect going on there. So that's basically a quick overview of, of some basic text effects. Uh, After Effects is very, very powerful, and you can do a lot of different things 
um, to your text. So I, I kind of just get in the surface. One of the things you can do is go to effects and presets and go to stylize. You have all these different things and ways to stylize your text. So glow is in there. And this is kind of like in uh, Photoshop again. So brush strokes, you know, you can change the brush size, make it really crazy and you can't even see, but you'd be able to, you know, change the keyframe settings. So now we take the brush size down to zero and gonna get a, a smooth transition into you know just the the plain text without brush size and you can see that it's actually got some motion to it uh, so that's kind of a, a cool effect as well you could take the stroke length down and the smaller these values become the less the the effect so i'll go ahead and stop that and yeah so just take a look over at these stylized options and play around with them a bit see what you can come up with and if you have any more specific questions you know feel free to add them in the comment section below uh thanks to uma lanta for uh, get, getting me to, <laughs> to do this tutorial uh, hoping to get some more tutorials up soon so if you have a specific idea or a specific question about after effects like i said just pop it down there in the comment section and i'll try to get it uh, up and running as soon as possible so hopefully you enjoyed this one and learned a bit and until next time i'm john hartley take it easy